Hello, I am Dhiman Banerjee with Bentley Systems. Welcome to the first video of the video series that focuses on the physical modeler, a part of the Start Pro Connect edition. In this video, we will work with the basic modeling capabilities within the physical modeler itself. We will be especially focusing on the graphic tools and interfaces found within the product. Let's get started. This is the final model that we would be working on to achieve in this video. Now, let's start creating a model. This is the launch state of the Start Pro, the first page, where you can specify your file name and the location. If you want to change, go for selecting the physical. You might want to choose any of the units and then simply click on Create. Now this is the brand new approach in creating a model and displaying the data. So now you may want to have a look at the layouts. Ribbons all along the top and which will become customizable depending on the selected components that are part of a model. All of the data are all being displayed in the spreadsheet. There are visualization tools available in the bottom right corner in the model view area any time that you want to use it. There is also a backstage, which gives us an opportunity to in setting the configuration details from these options, and also importing models from ISM repository in the physical environment. Now let's try to create a grid. This is the fundamental block from where we can start creating models. So when we pop up this grid control, specify the references, which is by default the wall coordinate system. We want to have a grid which is defined in the XZ plane. And then we want to create spaces in along the X direction as 20. You might think that where do you get this information as to what would be the figure and what it actually looks like. You might want to click on the show help and the help is a context sensitive help in each of the dialogues which are present and you can always select one of those inputs and try to see what the help actually asks you to do for this inputs similarly for others uh, fields as well so once we have defined our grid so this is the grid now now we would like to create an UCS, which is at the middle of the grid. So let's try to create an UCS and we can use a value of minus 10 and create an UCS. Now the next step would be placing the UCS at the center of the grid. Then we go to the grid table. By default, it's being associated with the world coordinate system. Now we refer the grid to the new UCS that we created. So this is the point zero zero. So what we did is we moved the grid to use the new UCS. Now let us draw a surface. And it's so simple to create a surface any shape of your choice. So we might want to create a surface Now the moment I created the surface and the nodes appeared you might want to have a look at the context sensitive helps that appear for the selected entities in the ribbon as I described earlier Here the nodes and surfaces are selected so we have the same appearing at the top Now there are tools in each of those context sensitive tool sets that appears. And for each of those tools, it corresponds to the items in the spreadsheet as well. So you can assign a material or a thickness from the tool over here, or you can uh, come over here, you can edit the same in the spreadsheet, or you can directly type in from the spreadsheet. So these are the two ways by which uh, you can 
assign the properties to the entities similarly for the nodes we have separate tools for for node entities we're going to see how we are going to use these tools in the process of creation of our model now we plan to have our first floor located four meters above the ground level so as my surface and the nodes are being selected you can see the selection is obvious in the node spreadsheet and also in the surface spreadsheet similarly if i can select some nodes from the spreadsheet it will be selected in the model view on the other way around if i select some nodes from the model view those corresponding will get selected in the spreadsheet so this is a very cool way of tracking as to what am i looking and what are the things that are being displayed similarly for the surfaces as well so even if you select from here it gets selected or you select from here it gets selected now we might want to have a floor level of the first floor at a height of four meters above the ground level and this is where we we start using some powerful tools of the spreadsheet so what we do is we select all the rows and then we go on dragging this column pressing onto the left mouse button and select this corresponding column and we want to increase the level to four meters in the y direction so we go for the cell calculator type in four and click on the plus so automatically you see that there is a four meters height that has been attained now we want to have a 10 storied building so i would like to copy this for 10 times in the y direction we can use the copy tool which is available in the ribbon from here or also you can use the same copy tool which is available in the context menu as well so you might want to go to copy directions we specify as y number of copies 10 floors that we decided and the spacing three meters per floor height and there we go it's quick and simple all the surfaces the nodes gets repeated along the y direction now once we have defined our 10 floors we would like to have a little bit different in the structure layout so we are going to apply a 5% increase in the floor area and as we go up so that it creates a structure which is bulging across every level so leaving behind the first floor i would like to select the extreme nodes so once we have selected the nodes now we want to do some changes in the model and we don't want to use the cluttered form in the entire model so what we plan we go to a separate view called partial view so i can go to the partial view by selected objects and this is my partial model view on which i would like to operate some extended geometry operations and then come back to merge those changes in my original model so this is an option by which if you click on the partial model view the control plus h toggle it shows that it's a shortcut key and you can go back so if i press ctrl h from here i'm back to my model again ctrl h i'm back over here now the intention of getting inside the partial model view is we want to extend the x coordinates bulging across and towards their extremities so that each and every floor is five percent more than its preceding floor so that we achieve a bulging structure or something uh, as i pointed so let's try to do this operation 
again there the power of spreadsheet so we would like to select all the rows for x go to cell calculator 5% increase in the nodes so we see that that's 10.5 now and in the next iteration we would like this the floor above it to get another 5% increase from the preceding one so we, we go back from here selected objects come back to the partial model view again now you have all the nodes which are selected but we would like to operate on the x coordinates so we already have the enhanced value the 5% then we might want to go one step more with 1.05 and then similarly we are going to do for the rest of the floors Now you see that we are we are bulging across the middle. So this is how it looks like. Now at any point of time you might want to get rid of the UCS being viewed uh, for the length of the modeling time. So you can go to view and click on UCS and you're done. In the next video, we will see how to insert columns in the structure and creation of the lift well. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you really like what you've seen here, please consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.